Hi everyone, uh, I uh, make this video because I wanted to explain uh, a real case example of the uh, use of a blockchain uh, locally and I search for a simple example where we can uh, set up a website with a blockchain uh, for test purposes and I find out this uh, repository and GitHub so I really would like to thank uh, this guy who created this project because it's, uh, it's really helpful. Um, so here's the GitHub repository where you get, uh, in fact, everything that we want. Uh, so to say here you get uh, the Truffle uh, project, including the different smart contract to deploy. And here you get the app, so to say the website that you can as well um, directly uh, deploy on, um, on your local computer. And you get uh, great uh, documentation and explanation. Uh, which is a bit, of course, scary at the beginning when we don't understand what this is all about. But uh, this is what it means. So this is the programming language. Uh, fine. It's not really a programming language. So library of JavaScript in order to interact with the blockchain. Okay, so this is, in fact, uh, not that big to understand and to implement. Truffle is a software, a framework at least, uh, that you install on your computer in order to be able uh, to deploy uh, some smart contract and uh, it is a Ganache, which is a software that you install on uh, your computer in order to uh, deploy uh, your own uh, blockchain. So to, to make it simple, Ganache is just a software that uh, you are um, launching on your computer. I'm using Ganache GUI because I find out that this is uh, easier to understand, at least for, for me. So this is uh, Ganache. So here is the new uh, blockchain that I'm going to uh, deploy. And now I'm going to follow this uh, tutorial. So this part has just been set. As you can see, it was just uh, two clicks to make to the software. Truffle is already installed, but I'm going to um, uh, download directly the project here from Git in order to um, play with Truffle. And Web3 is already included within the file that the guy put over here. So let's start the project. So first uh, things first, we go uh, on our computer. Then uh, what we do is that we create a directory. I'm just going to call it like, uh, I don't know, um, my blockchain. Just going to call it like this, my blockchain. So I enter within my repository, my blockchain. OK, here I do my git clone. So this is just going to copy and paste the repository that we have here on GitHub with all the information that uh, we need. OK, so here is, in fact, everything that we have up here. OK, that's that is the same thing. OK, next, uh, what do you need to have in order to, uh, to start? So uh, I already have Node.js, so I'm not going to install it. Um, I already set uh, node and so as npm. This is exactly what I just did. Truffle is already installed for me. Uh, so I don't even need to do truffle in it because uh, the different files are here. Okay, uh, so CD workshop. Here, as you can see, contract migration test, um, the JSON config file is everything which uh, would have been deployed if I was executing this given uh, line of code. So I don't need to, to do it. Set up Ganache, I don't need to do it neither because I already set it up. So I need now to make the link between Ganache and Truffle. So to say, I need to explain that I want the smart contract to discuss with the blockchain. And here are the different uh, data dealing with uh, the configuration that Truffle need to have. So to say, those data need to be set within the Truffle config file. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to enter within uh, the Truffle config. So I'm going to do a nano Truffle config. Okay, there I am. So this is, uh, this is the file here. As you can see, the information are almost all correct. I just need to change this one and I need as well to change this one in order to make it work. So I save the file and I get out. OK, so uh, next, what do I need is that I need to deploy the smart contract. Uh, this is the smart contract. This one is already included within the uh, GitHub repository. So to say here, all I need to do now is truffle 
uh, deploy in order to deploy the two smart contract if everything goes smoothly i should get something like this saying okay those contracts have been properly deployed and i can directly uh, double check it on uh, this blockchain so here it should have been fine normally they should have been deployed over here but that's not that's not the case um, probably that's because i did the action before so i'm gonna deploy them again truffle deploy okay replacing the existing contract and okay and here you can see that they have been they have been deployed properly okay great so it works um then i can uh, go next so truffle deploy this is what i did the smart contract i don't need this because i already did it um i don't need this part neither okay and now this is about the uh, dap ui so the dap ui is in fact deployed on oops is deployed over here as you can see on the app directory so if i do like uh, firefox and index.html i'm gonna get in fact the app but it's not gonna work and, and the reason is that uh, firefox is not supporting uh, the protocol in order to discuss with the blockchain and no, so that's why one need to install a uh, metamask but i'm not going to use metamask today i'm going to use brave uh, browser which is in fact supporting the rpc protocol and as well what is missing here is that i'm using it locally not on a server and this is what uh, they're explaining here over here you need to install a little server from npm so if you run npm run dev it should uh, install a server npm run dev on your machine so here it's telling me light server not found and that's probably because i'm not doing it at the right place so npm run dev okay um and if i do it one level above neither okay no problem uh then what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna enter back within the workshop and i'm gonna launch this again okay so here i'm installing the server oh, okay yeah because that's a brand new installation okay that makes sense npm run dev so at this step the local server is launched um but as i previously mentioned i'm going to use brave instead apps so brave browser and now we have it so hold on okay now brave is launched okay here's the thing so this is what the app is doing this app is here in order to purchase some tickets uh, for a given event here you get the number of people which are registered to the event uh, this is the number of tickets that uh, which are available this is the address where the contract is deployed this is uh, the organizer uh, account address so to set the one holding all the money okay so this is one is the event organizer uh, ethereum address and that's the one that you can find over here so this guy so far makes some expenses because he deployed the contract in order to say uh, okay um, there are some some tickets that you can that you can purchase let's say that this given guy this one uh, which correspond to uh, is it the second one seems like the second one even if i don't have a capital f want to purchase a ticket uh, so let's imagine that the ticket price is at five ethereum which is pretty expensive and you want to buy it normally if i click here on buy ticket it will um credit this account and it will uh, debit this given account so let's let's give it a try purchase successful and then as you can see uh five ethereum has been uh, has been removed from this address and normally uh, one address should have been uh credited so um, so he purchased something but it has not been well kind of funny uh, let's see uh, what happened so 
from this given address, the fund went to the oh the fund went to the contract address. Okay, I see. Um, I don't know yet how can I um, get organizer cash out. Oh, cash out. I guess it means that we are picking out the money and we are putting it somewhere. Okay. Uh, I don't know where the money is gonna get, but the money has been transferred to the contract and I don't know because I don't so let's see if I say destroy the contract so I can purchase uh, several tickets for example let's imagine that this guy is gonna purchase several as you can see the money is gonna go down uh, we, uh, we can do a refund so for example I can refund it on of 10 uh, that's gonna be the same address refund successful and this guy got some of his money back. But let's imagine that I would like to uh, make a cash out. I guess uh, if it's correct, it should in fact destroy this contract and send the money to this guy. So contract destroyed. Okay. Wow, lovely. And then the money has been transferred to this guy. Um, so of course, all this uh, source code is available over here when uh, where you are getting in fact the different instruction in order to use a uh, web uh, web 3 and this is what uh, you can find yes over here it is the the library doing all the all the stuff but that, that's it here you get a real use case of how to use a blockchain in order to purchase some uh, tickets uh, so all i can say that this project is great if you want to learn a little bit uh, how you can integrate, um, let's say, uh, a smart contract with uh, programming language, so to say, uh, web3.js, which is a JavaScript library, in order to interact with a blockchain locally. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.